Welcome back. Welcome back to the final chapter of our engine development. Now we will find out if our revolutionary cylinder head design will live up to the promises it showed during the simulation phase. For this we are at Boven 7 Engineering. It's one of the most advanced engine test facilities in Europe. And Wolfgang, you know it from your past. Yes, we had been here uh, some years ago with our Formula 1 engines. So we hope they have the best technical equipment to push our development forward and to bring it to the next phase. And now it's time to hand over to Matthias, Christian, Jerry and to start the engine. looking promising and now let's move on to the next phase and let's rev the engine. We're looking at the exhaust gas temperatures for each cylinder. Uh, we're looking at head temperature for each cylinder. And we're seeing if everything is within the boundaries that we set. And it looks good. It looks very stable. Yeah. So yeah. This is important. While the engine is running on the test bench, I can explain some more details of the cylinder head. One point we looked for is that we have enough space to bring the cold air directly uh, to the backside of the combustion camber. That means we put the intake a bit higher in the cylinder head to get more room for the air to pass here. And now you can see we, we have the seat rings here. It's not copper beryllium, it's a material which is very similar to it with a high thermal conductivity to bring the heat out in the material from the combustion camber. And on the other side you can see the valve guides we have uh, sodium-filled uh, valve shafts for both inlet and outlet valves. And these so-called uh, valves bring also the heat more to the upper part of the cylinder heads and then uh, through the valve guides to the uh, upper side of the cylinder head which is also air-cooled by the fins here. So this helped us in the moment to hold the temperature down on the cylinder head. And we can later see on the test bench that the temperature in the exhaust bridge between just between the seat rings is on a very low level. So that means the cooling is at about in a water cooled engine in the moment. So uh, we have achieved our target to cool the engine in combination air and oil to a level of a normal water cooled four wheel engine. This is the snapshot of a hot and long week at the test bench. Um, at the end, we are extremely lucky to see, experience and learn that our cooling system works even better than expected. Because of that, we might be able to rewrite the history of the air-cooled four-valve cylinder head. This is not the end of us, it's the ending of a chapter. And we will sign it off with SPA. The setup is ready and now it's time to hit the track. Enjoy it, 
See you next time.